Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Charlie Chant, the CEO of Good Life Plus. Good Life Plus is an Aquis listed company which offers daily luxury prizes and perks like dining discounts and cinema tickets. Great to see you again, Charlie. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me back. Pleasure, pleasure. Well, there's a lot for us to dive into since the last time we spoke. Um, let's kick things off with the interim results. They showed some pretty impressive revenue growth. What would you say has been the main driver behind this, Charlie, and this performance? And you know, how do you plan to maintain that momentum? Yeah, well, as with any subscription business, uh, the higher the monthly recurring revenue becomes, the more we have to reinvest in the uh, growth. Um, so I suspect to see the same over the course of 2025. Every month that passes, we have more revenue coming into the business and we can invest that back into acquisition channels like Meta, Google, online, offline, etc. This has always been, well, it's been a product for the last 12 months that has product market fit. So it's now about getting the resource available to invest in scaling the business, acquiring those customers. The demand for the product is there. It's very much a case of going out and buying those customers but with any subscription business, you've got a subscription trough. So there's a payback period uh, on those customers that you buy. So it's about purchasing them, letting the money come back in, raising some investment at the same time and just continuing to improve the team, the product and scale. Mm. Well, you mentioned they're like a good life. You're in this sort of big investment phase right now. Can you share any details around these investments and how they're going to contribute to the growth? Yeah, so we've had one of the uh, big investment funds uh, back us uh, within the last couple of months, uh, which is obviously very positive. It shows that, you know, they've done some pretty serious due diligence on the business and they're very uh, enthusiastic about kind of the uh, what they saw uh, within the pitch uh, to them. But, but ultimately, that's just going to help us scale. Um, we've got a really good team in place internally now, uh, new web designs, etc. hopefully launching in the new year, new partnerships going live all the time. So it's just about scaling uh, to become a household name in the UK with any subscription business. You know, it, it's that very much a hockey stick curve as you're building up the monthly recurring revenue. You reinvest those funds, you take on initial additional investment and it really starts to pick up pace. And, and you know, if you look at any growth curve of Good Life Plus, you it's pretty clear that we are at the start of a very high growth phase. Mm. Well, there's a lot of options out there. I mean, what do you think sets Good Life's products apart? I mean, what, what makes them stand out for your customers? I think a lot of it comes down to convenience, um, value and trust. So, you know, it's a low cost monthly subscription service. Uh, you can enter for free if you like. We get thousands of people into for free, but we also have a paid product. You know, you pay on a monthly basis. It's way, way less than the cost of, say, a HelloFresh Um and that offers access to thousands of deals, but also access to luxury rewards, uh, prizes, sorry. So as those prizes continue to scale, as the membership continues to scale, the prizes get better and better. So that just offers more and more value back to the consumer. And on top of that, from my perspective, I think there's also the element of trust. If you look at Good Life Plus, we've got over 9,000 five-star Trustpilot reviews, and we're continuing to scale those reviews at pay. So clearly the customers love the product. Okay, interesting. I also noted you've added sort of a couple of big names onto the board there. You've got Richard Johnson joining as a CFO and Fraser Doherty is uh, on, onto your advisory board. I mean, that's a strong move for the team. Can you share their experience and how that experience aligns with Good Life's goals? Yeah, so Richard, um, some of his relevant experience was he was the CFO of a company called Overtip. Uh, so they got the license for the NFL pass, which is basically like Netflix for the NFL is a digital subscription. It provides access to all of the NFL content. They got the license for that outside of the US. And I believe they scaled it to well over half a million uh, subscribers, you know, significant revenues. So tons of experience when it comes to being kind of the CFO of a high growth uh, subscription business, which is exactly what we are. We've also then got Fraser. So Fraser has kind of a wealth of uh, experience, but his most recent experience is Beer 52 and Wine 52. He's taken that to over 150,000 active members, which is quite substantial. And he continues to, to scale that at a significant pace. So again, lots of experience running these subscription-based models, lots of experience kind of being where we are in the journey at that earlier phase and kind of experience high growth. How does it feel? How do we need to operate within the business? Who do we need to employ? What are the key hires? All of the hurdles that he's overcome, he can pass that knowledge back on to us. Well, it certainly sounds they're going to have a big impact on the business. Um, but sort of looking forward then onto 2025 or into 2025, what are the main goals you're focusing on? And what should investors keep an eye on as a key drivers for your growth? 
So for for me personally, I think um, big milestones will be passing a hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, you know, it's a big big goal for twenty twenty five, um, and it's an aspirational one to say the least. Uh, but that would be a massive milestone. Um, it would put us ahead of our forecasts, um, but it's something that I have my eyes on, and it's something that I'm feeling confident uh, that we can achieve. And, and the way we're going to do that is, you know continuing to scale those online marketing initiatives, uh, but also improving the product, improving retention and looking at new channels such as partnerships, white label, et cetera. So yeah, there should be exciting things coming. Um, you should see many of those going live in uh, Q1 uh, 2025. Well, Charlie, I'm really looking forward to speaking to you very soon again. I'm sure you're uh, with this momentum. I'm sure you're going to achieve your goals. Um, so thank you very much for your time, Charlie. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.